Timmy loves his bicycle, but one night it disappeared from outside his apartment. It came out and it wasn't there. At first I thought I'd misplaced it. I looked everywhere around the apartment block, um, but I realised it actually was gone. This demonstration by the Dublin Cycling Campaign shows just how easy it is to get through some locks and the city's bike thieves have been taking full advantage. The CSO reports about 4,500 thefts annually in Dublin, um, but we know there's a huge under-reporting issue, so the number is probably somewhere between 20 and 25,000. But it's not enough to have a good lock. You've got to use it well. OK, so uh, this lock here, it's an excellent lock, but it's badly used, so it can be easily cut through. It'll be gone in a few minutes. This one here is a very good lock, well locked, so no problem with that third one here is a cable lock. It's well locked, but it's a cheap lock, so again, it'll be gone in a minute. Gardaí do recover thousands of stolen bikes, but few are claimed. They'd like every bike owner to take a few basic precautions. It's very important that people are able to identify their bike if it is stolen. And the first thing is that there's a frame number on every bike. The frame number is located under the frame of the bike between the pedals. It's important to record that frame number, record the make, model, colour of the bike, and I'd also advise people to take a photograph, a coloured photograph of the bike with themselves standing there that are easy to identify it. Most people don't even bother to report it when their bike is stolen. But it is worth doing because sometimes with persistence and a bit of luck, you can get your bike back. Appeals on social media led to a sighting in Dublin city centre and a happy ending for Timmy. So I, I got a message, a video message, um, so it was my bike. Um, so running into town, these two guys, amazing guys, got off to Lewis, chased after this guy, couldn't get him. So they had to go back to Store Street Garda Station where they looked in and there was the guy standing in there. And um, I ran in and got my back back. It was just absolutely ridiculous. He has since upgraded his lock. Coleman O'Sullivan, RTU News, Dublin City Centre.